Hi everyone, we're back for another cooking club video and this week we are making breakfast bombs. So we're gonna get started. Um, I like this recipe because it's um, easy to do in the air fryer and you don't have to use your oven if you don't want to. I am going to cook my bacon in the oven um, just because it's really easy and I like that it gets pretty crispy in there, but you can do this first step however you would like. Um, and there are lots of variations of breakfast bombs. Um, you can use sausage, egg, potato, you know, like hash browns, um, anything you'd like. So what we're going to do is um, cook the bacon, make some scrambled eggs, and then once the bacon is done, I'll pull out the biscuits and um, we'll just open a tube of biscuits and kind of stuff them with the things that we're going to make ahead of time and then we'll put them in the air fryer. And so the bread will get nice and um, kind of a really like doughy on the inside and a little bit firmer on the outside. So um, I am going to start by preheating my oven to 375. We're almost there. And I'm gonna cook my bacon this way. Um, I like to do the foil because it just helps it kind of with the oil, it gets bubbly on there and then that's what helps crisp it up. So. I'm gonna layer my strips of bacon here. And once we pop those in, it'll be, you know, 20 minutes or so. It depends if you like really crispy bacon or not. I personally do. So um, we'll check the time and just see what it looks like when it's done. And the eggs, I will show you how I like to do my scrambled eggs. down on the pack and it's okay if the bacon is touching or overlapping um, it is going to shrink up quite a bit but if it shrinks and is stuck to each other then it's totally fine because we are going to um, kind of cut it up into pieces to put inside of our biscuits anyway be shifting one here one second and you will um, have some oil drip over so when we take these out of the oven make sure to ask the adult in your household for some help because bacon grease is very very hot I don't want anyone to burn themselves the nice thing about these is you can make them ahead of time and then just pop them in the microwave to reheat and then you've got a little mini breakfast sandwich. <clears throat> so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. All right, so I am at 286 on my oven. Um, what I'm gonna do is just pop it in there now because it's not, um, we don't have an exact baking time. Um, I do like to go for 375, but it'll just heat up and it'll eventually get there. And the bacon, like I said, is really a personal preference thing. So if your family likes crispy bacon, um, go ahead and leave it in there longer, which is what I'm going to do, but some people don't. And so I'm gonna pop this in right now. I'm going to set myself a timer for 20 minutes to check it. <clears throat> and then what we will do here is make some scrambled eggs. So I am using, um, I believe it's Gordon Ramsay who I saw cook eggs this way and I really liked it. Um, we're going to put some butter in here and um, about a tablespoon. I have cracked three eggs over here. And I'm going to just whisk them around a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll bring the butter. We're going to get this pan really hot to this little pot. Um, and that will let the eggs kind of cook. So we'll just cook them in there for a minute or so. And then when we take the pan off of the heat, they're going to still continue to cook. So I'm going to put this on like an eight. Just for 
break up my eggs a little bit. I always like to um, mention that we should crack eggs in a separate bowl. I'm not always good about doing that, but you never know. So. hot. So now I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of butter, put that in there, and once it's all melted, we just basically want a layer of, you know, some people might use cooking oil, but you just want a layer of something on here so that your eggs don't stick. And the butter and the eggs taste pretty good. Really trying not to scrape my pan. Once this is all melted, then we will add in the eggs and start whisking. Good to go. So I'm gonna add in my eggs. And now I'm just gonna start turning. I think in the video that I watched, um, he took it off of the heat immediately. I don't like my eggs to be super runny when I have scrambled eggs or wet. Um, so I just cook it a little bit here and then we'll continue to stir. You'll see they're starting to really change consistency at this point. You just need to stir the whole time so they don't get stuck to your sides. shape here. Mine are starting to, I don't know how well you can see that with steam coming up, but they're really starting to come together underneath. And if it looks like it's sticking, um, that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, I'm going to turn my heat down and see how they just kind of whip together. about a whisk is that your eggs will get kind of stuck in the little cracks. But there, now we've got scrambled eggs. I'm gonna grab a little bowl to pour them into. And this is for a can of five biscuits. I did three eggs. So if you are doing a double batch and you're making 10, you're going to want to use more eggs. Um, but if you also are using other ingredients, you would be okay to get away with um, doing less. So there's our eggs. Got 14 minutes left on my timer for the bacon. Make sure you've shut your stovetop off from the, um, from the eggs. 
and we are just gonna wait it out and give our bacon some time to cook and we'll check it at 20 minutes and see if we need to add more time. Um, other than that, you can just let your eggs rest for a little bit and then, um, and then we'll come back to it here shortly. Okay, so here is my bacon after 20 minutes, even with the um, lower temp for the first about mm, four or five minutes or so. Um, so that is how I like my bacon. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just set this aside and let that um, cool down. Move a couple of things. my air fryer out. So this we're going to run at about 350. So what I'll do now is uh, I have nothing in the basket. I'm just leaving it here. Um, we're not going to add foil or anything yet. I'm going to um, just preheat it for about five minutes at 350. Turn your dial over to the five minute mark and let it do its thing to preheat. And while that's happening, do a couple other prep steps. Make sure that if you're still working on your oven um, or your stove top, sorry, uh, don't touch the part where you used, um, that you used to heat the eggs. Just still be careful of that. I'm gonna use a fork. If you have tongs handy, that would be great. But I, just wanting to transfer my bacon over. It is very hot, so again, if you need help, ask the adult in your household for some help moving this. This baking grease is very, very hot. And if you need to shift some of it, it should be crispy enough um, that it just breaks, like that piece broke really easily. Pat some of that grease off for myself. Personal preference thing, you don't have to do this. absorb some of that grease before I put that tin foil in the oven and I'm gonna get our biscuits out. So I'm just using a roll of Grant's um, biscuits. You want the flaky layer ones. Pop these open. another egg so that'll be in the instructions though um, as far as your ingredients list um, you will want oh looks like I bought an eight pack not a five pack so that works out really well because we have lots of bacon so um, we are going to split these apart and then we'll stuff them with our ingredients and then kind of pinch them closed and then that's when we'll pop them in there. We're gonna brush it with an egg wash. So we'll need um, a bowl and an eggs with a little bit of water so that we can whip it together and then just brush the tops off. Um, yeah. So if you find like most of these have where the seams are coming out, we're just gonna kinda slowly try to separate them. all of them now while our bacon is still cooling and our air fryer is preheating. 
one thing you don't want to do with your air fryer um, is use like Pam spray or anything in there. Um, you can use other oil sprays uh, or rub it with like some olive oil on the bottom, but for whatever reason they say not to use, like the manufacturer says not to use like a cooking spray like Pam. Find a seam on that one. There we go. All right. So now air fryer is done. What I'm going to do? My bacon has cooled down. I'm just going to kind of crumble it into bacon bits. If you want to leave it in bigger pieces. Um, that's totally fine. Just depends on how you want to build your little breakfast bombs. And like I said, this would be the time to get out any other ingredients you might want to use if you're using um, little hash brown shreds or cheese or anything like that. I'm going to see if I actually have some cheddar that would be good all right so my bacon is now kind of I don't know if I would say shredded but it is in pieces so they'll fit nicely in our biscuits I do have some cheddar cheese any shredded cheese but I'm just gonna put cheese on half of them all right so now we're gonna just take uh, one half of our biscuit and you can kind of stretch it a little bit and then you're just gonna make like a pocket a small amount I bet you that's probably a tablespoon some bacon bits and some cheese if you're doing that take the top of your biscuit and then we're going to squish it and pinch the edges to close it up almost looks like a little hand pie grab another and of course, if there are any leftovers, um, you can just save them for breakfast on another day. making progress.
Okay, so there's my four with cheese. And I'm gonna take my last four halves. We'll keep on going. Right, I'm getting there. Definitely could have used more eggs on my first few that I did. That's okay. All right, last one. So we've got our eight little biscuits here. And let me wash my hands real quick. Clear some of this out. Right, I'm gonna grab a little so we can do our egg wash. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna use this mug. We're gonna crack an egg and do a couple tablespoons of water. And my pastry brush has disappeared, so I'm just gonna brush it on with a spoon, I'll show you. Um, but if you do have a pastry brush, that is um, the easiest way to do this. tablespoons of water um, and it can just be a splash you don't have to measure it out exact um, it's just so that the browns uh, the sorry the top of our um, buns get super browned so so all we're gonna do is mix up that water and that egg So it should be kind of like a really light color. And again, like I said, if you have a pastry brush, that is a really easy way to do this. Let me 
we don't need one. layer these inside of the air fryer. So what I like to do is to take just a little bit of foil because we do need the air circulating through the top. But you don't want to do this before because if there's nothing weighing it down it'll fly around inside the air fryer. So I just laid down a piece of foil and I'm going to take my biscuits and we'll probably, I have a small air fryer, it's just a two person. I'm gonna do two at a time because they are going to expand. So if you do too much, I'm just sliding around with my egg wash. Um, if you do too many, they're not going to fit um, once they expand and we want them to cook all the way through. So I'm gonna go about six minutes and we'll check them. Um, and we're gonna let the air fryer do its thing and then we'll continue to cook these in batches of two. Okay, so this is after six minutes. Um, they're nice and browned on top. They might even be a little too much. I'm gonna do our next batch at like four or five minutes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pull these out very carefully. Again, if you need help, um, seek out the adult in your household. Plate. That's cool enough right there. Again, very hot if you have tongs um, that would be something good to use so I'm just gonna flatten out um, like I said the uh, the air circulating inside of the air fryer kind of um, makes the foil fold over a little bit so and when you're placing that again this is all very hot inside here so be careful Two more. I'm gonna go five minutes, but I'm gonna check them at four. While those are cooking. We're gonna let these cool, and then we're gonna cut into one and see how they came out. So we'll uh, we'll hold off. We'll finish doing our batch, and then um, continue kitchen cleanup in the meantime. And um, I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. Okay, let's check out our second batch. Those are a little bit, whoops, less done on top. Again, super careful if you have tongs. I recommend using those. Ooh. I am going to spray some nonstick onto my tin foil for this next batch because I'm having some sticking issues. Typically these are buttery enough that you don't have a sticking issue, but we did on this one, check that out. And you don't have to use spray on here, you can use butter if you wanted, you know, anything that works for you. So I'm just going to take my nonstick and spray over the sink right on here. I'll show you in a sec. You can kind of see, a, there you go, there's some light. You can kind of see where I sprayed. So I'm going to place this down in here again. them to be less cooked on top. Um, see how the bottom, that layer peeled off. Um, these ones came out pretty good on the bottom. So um, 
Again, if you want them cooked less, just do less time in your air fryer. Um, I did five minutes on these last ones, so they're slightly less browned than the first ones. Um, and we'll just keep going from there. Okay, so that's about four minutes. Those are even a little bit less done than the prior batch. And let's see if these are coming out easily. Again, very careful. We don't want to burn ourselves. goes in and then we will be all done right so we've got six of our biscuits um, one thing I did want to mention is that um, Remember, you can do any types of ingredients that you would like here. Uh, you don't have to use bacon and egg. You can do sausage and egg. You can do cheese and egg. It can be really anything you'd like. Um, the biggest thing is figuring out your air fryer time and then doing the prep for the, um, the bacon. That takes the longest is the bacon. Otherwise, it's a pretty quick thing. If you have bacon already prepped um, for the week, then it's really easy to just make these and pop them in your air fryer. Um, but aside from that, it doesn't take a whole lot to do because we cook the bacon in the oven. You can cook it on the stove top or um, in a cast iron or however you like to um, make your bacon. But um, I really like it in the oven just because I prefer it really crispy. So anyway, we're going to let our last batch do its thing and then we will be all done. Alright, let's check out our last two. Those are looking pretty good. not seal very well it's picking up on the sides right there okay so now the true test I'm gonna cut open one of these that's a little bit cooler let's go up here just so we can check it out And there we go, we've got egg and cheese and bacon, right in a yummy biscuit. So that is everything. Um, we are all set on making our air fryer breakfast bombs. And again, you can mess around with the ingredients. They're super fun to make. And um, if you have um, ingredients that are already prepped, it makes it really fast and easy. So we'll take one last look at that and sign off for this week and i <clears throat> um hope to hear from you on if you used any different ingredients have a great week everyone bye